welcome back to my channel. I am the Electro for Latina and today I'm gonna be talking about this crazy Chinese electric motorcycle. But before we dive in, let's roll the intro. Two years ago, when I entered the small electric vehicle scene, I wanted a powerful seated electric scooter. So I found a Chinese manufacturer in one of the Facebook groups. He was selling this awesome looking scooters. I mean, doesn't it look awesome? And I was like, oh my God, that's everything I'm looking for because I was kind of over the stand-up electric scooters. They felt tiring to me. The wheels were too, too small. And I wanted something like where I would feel safer that I was like sitting, but seated, but powerful at the same time. So I was naive enough and committed the mistake of buying from this independent brand new manufacturer who was making electric scooters from his living room. So no team, no quality control whatsoever. But since his products look so good, I decided to trust him and send him money. So I, when I was waiting for it, I took one year to arrive. As I was waiting for it, other YouTubers he had sent the scooters to, they were having major issues with their, with their scooters. So I wanted to get my money back, but he insisted that I was getting the scooter one year later. Here it is. And we're going to do a review today and then stay till the end because I will let you know about the outcome of what I think of this scooter. But before we dive in, let's roll the intro. Okay, so first I wanted to give you a quick walk around, um, starting with the seat. It's a very big plush seat. This is one of my favorite things of this e-bike or scooter, sorry. Um, it comes with a lot of a set of keys. So with one of them, the other cool thing is that this locks and it's a compartment, a little storage compartment. There's quite a bit of space in there. And then, okay, so we close it and then it stays up. Uh, it stays nice and locked. Okay, so you have uh, back turning signals. One of them broke during shipment. A very nice fat big tire on the back. Gives you a lot of stability. It looks like it would be good for off-roading, but it's too low to the ground, so it doesn't have a lot of clearance. Then we have some pretty like massive suspensions here, and I like the, um, you know, the, the contrast of colors. And then um, we have like uh, pedals, well, pegs where you can put your feet. And uh, this is, yeah, I, I like them. They go up and down and a nice kickstand. And then let me show you the, um, the front compartment. So with your key, you are gonna turn on the screen. Okay, it's a nice big uh, display. You can see it whether it's in the sun or not. And then you have a horn right here. <coughs> You also have your like emergency lights. You have, these are your turning signals, front lights. So this is, the, this is very well equipped, like a real motorcycle, right? Um, very hardcore motorcycle hydraulic brakes. They are very strong. I do like that too. And then in the front, you have a smaller tire, which is going to be good for that maneuverability. Um, and then, yeah, just like a quick walk around here so you can see it all. And then um, this guy put like plastic uh, pedals. Of course, they don't work. And this was just like so I could be like legal where, uh, where e-bikes can go. Okay, so I want to tell you about my riding experience. So like I was saying, the seat is plush. It's big. It's, uh, it's phenomenal. It's the best seat I've ever sat on. Um, the motor, it feels really powerful. It's a 2000 watt motor that peaks a lot higher. I don't know exactly how much. The battery, it's a 60 volt, uh, 20 amp hour battery. But the ba this is one of the things that's like super bumming me out. The battery does not charge to full. I can like plug it in and then it says it's uh, you know it's green it's ready it only barely charges above half so I don't know if it's the uh, um, the charger if it's the battery or like what's going on but yeah super frustrating you know this is like really heavy so 
I don't f I don't feel it makes me feel unsafe to go very far because this is a very heavy scooter guys so if you run out of battery with this thing I mean this thing is like a hundred pounds uh, it would be a nightmare right uh, what else so Oh, the, like the, the brakes are very powerful. We're gonna be doing a brake test. We're gonna do a terrain test. Oh, and let me show you the suspension. The suspension is awesome. It's very plush. Uh, like I said, not necessarily for off-roading, but for like street riding. Look, I'm gonna... <laughs> Can you see how it, how the suspension moves up, up, up and down? It's pretty great. Woo! And we're doing a brake test. I am accelerating as hard as I can and brake. Woo! Super powerful hydraulic disc brake. Okay, we're going on an off-road test. Like I said, this is not a, an off-road beast by any means, but we're gonna be, because it's so low to the ground, but let's go right in the grass. See how it feels. I mean, with this plush suspension, for terrain like this oh yeah no problem guys this is totally comfortable so yeah if you need to take the beaten path you know on your way to work grass gravel uh dirt trails but like flatter dirt trails as long as you're not going over big obstacles this one delivers Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh, okay. <laughs> Top speed run. Guys, so the display is on kilometers an hour, but I will put it up on the screen, the miles per hour. Let's go. So I have the display set at the highest speed mode. I'm wearing full safety gear. Let's go. Okay, acceleration is smooth and it's fast, but without being jerky. I'm giving it full twist throttle, going on a straightaway. Wow, I got to 20 miles an hour in no time. Now I'm at 30 miles an hour and climbing. Okay, okay, oh my God, holy moly, 32 miles an hour. Oh, I'm getting to a turn here. And honestly, I don't trust this thing in turns. It's, it's hard to turn, it feels pretty sketchy. So I'm braking here a bit. Okay, back to a straightaway. And it looks like our top speed is 32 miles an hour. This, this motorcycle is not trust inspiring. I don't, honestly, I don't feel safe. Um, you know, cause like I was saying, there's like no quality control done. Um, I, I had to, I, when it got to me from shipping, um, it came like crooked and I had to have me my mechanic like fix it and I don't know like other things and then just when I ride it fast and like especially turning it just I don't know it, it doesn't feel right um, it can also be a part of it that I'm not used to riding this type of vehicles uh, you know and also with having the thinner wheel on the front and then the the wider one on the back the handling is just like really different all right, so this is an, a, an electrical vehicle that's meant for the streets, right? Like I'm not gonna be riding this on, on bike paths. Um, it's probably one that I should get registered and licensed. But uh, yeah, I mean, it has the power to ride on roads that, you know, are 30 miles an hour, maybe 35. And uh, yeah, with a big battery, I mean, you can go long distance, so. I mean, I have to, I, I do like it. It's, it's pretty darn cool. Okay, the only times I do not feel safe is when I'm turning. It feels like, like a square that is not turning when you want. It's hard to describe, guys, but um, yeah, that's, that's the one thing I don't like. Woo!
my god wow that was an adventure okay i what can i say i did have a lot of fun guys um okay so conclusion <laughs> do not buy electrical vehicles from a guy that's making them out of his living room so you can buy from alibaba aliexpress um i think the chinese are doing really nice products now but it has to be a company with experience <laughs> with employees with quality control if you go on alibaba make sure the manufacturer the company is verified and it has quality control certifications read the reviews from other people um, i've had really good experiences with alibaba but not this time so i love the idea of this electrical vehicle it's like i said it's comfortable it is a lot of fun but i cannot put it through the ringer because it, it just doesn't feel safe but i will be buying something similar from a verified company from Alibaba. This is called the Paj Cruiser. And last I saw, he is out of business, this guy. So that tells you something too, right? Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow for another video. Whatever you're doing, happy riding. <laughs>